you every Thursday to help you with numbers and to help you be better at closing deals today. Okay, stay with me today. Three simple steps to close an insurance sale. Everyone wants to close and I want you to picture something real quick as you're thinking about your prospect. What happens is, okay, what happens is your prospect, I never said I was the best drawer, okay, is in a state of confusion, all right? They're not certain that you have the answer. Maybe they haven't purchased insurance before, Maybe they, and maybe they don't know if they should. Maybe they have before, maybe the experience wasn't great, maybe they canceled it, whatever, right? But what you need to do and what you need to think about when you're closing before we get to the steps, they're in a state of confusion. You need to take them to a state of excitement, to a state of certainty that you have the solution, okay? So as we walk through this, be thinking about your prospect a little bit, all right? So the first step, three simple steps close. First step is to ask questions and listen. Most, most insurance agents think that by talking a lot, it's good. They think by having the gift of gab that it's amazing. They think that whoever's talking more wins. Eh, wrong. Ask questions and listen. The person asking questions is in control, but the person listening is the one that will influence the sale. Okay, I make sales when the prospect talks more than I do because I'm in control, I'm asking questions, I'm listening, and they are responding. So I want you to think about it. When you're trying to close a sale and when you're walking through this sale in a home, picture right now, you're in a home, ask questions, be in control, and listen to them. And actually listen, right? I'm not saying, you know, you should always be one step ahead, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean ignore what they're saying. It means listen. It means be in the moment. It means be ready, okay? So ask questions and listen. That's step number one. Okay, step number two is to show, and I'm giving these in a, in a different way than I normally would because I want you to think about a cell in a different way today, okay? Show empathy, not sympathy. You don't feel bad for them, okay? You feel empathy that you understand where they're coming from. You understand where they've, where they've been. You understand why they haven't done this, and you, you're with them, right? You're on their team. You're a part of this together. I want you to show empathy, not sympathy. You don't feel bad for the fact they haven't done it or the, feel bad that they chose the wrong option. It wasn't you because you're the right option, right? But it's empathy that you understand where they're coming from. You're with them, right? You're in this together. We want this to feel like a team effort. For example, when I, first bought my, when I made, made uh, $9,000 my first month in the insurance business, I went and spent it on a Dodge Challenger. And when I spent it on Dodge Challenger, the reason I'm saying this story is the salesperson, he felt like he was on my side the whole time. It was like, I don't know if you can get this. I don't know if they'll accept this offer. You know, um, that, that's what I kept hearing from management. But the salesperson was so good that I thought the dude was on my team. He was showing empathy, not sympathy. Okay, but it felt like we were together. He felt like he was on my side of the, of, of the negotiation. And I was like, dang, this salesperson is freaking good. And I always remembered that. So remember that when you're talking to prospects. Show empathy, you wanna be on their side, you understand them, understand where they're coming from, and understand that you are the solution to help them get there, okay? The third step. The third step is confidence. What do people buy? Okay, think about this for a quick second. Slow, we'll, we'll slow down for a second. What do people buy? Guess what? They don't buy products. They don't buy, they, they like benefits, but they don't buy benefits. They like features, they don't buy features. They like prices, but they don't buy the price, okay? Because you, I, I pay more for, pro, for, for products all the time than I could if I just went to Walmart. But I don't like to go to Walmart, so I'll go to Target and pay more, right? And maybe you're in the same equation. Your prospect is too, okay? They buy confidence, they buy you and your confidence and your certainty. So I want to express that you need to be certain. You don't say, I think you need this. I think this is the option for you. Eh, no, that ain't certain. When you're certain and you're confident, you don't use words like think. You don't use words like, you know what, maybe. You don't use words like, I'm not sure. You are freaking certain that you have the solution to their problem. Everyone buys because they have a problem. Okay? Every a, a, a salesperson is a problem solver and you are selling them the solution and you need to be confident 
that you are that solution, that you have that solution. You need to be certain. I believe a sell is made, okay? I believe that you will close deals when you believe that they will buy more than they believe that they won't. Now, if they believe they're not gonna buy more than you believe that they will, they won't. But you need to be more confident that they will than, than, than they are that they won't. That's when a sell is made, okay? That is when deals are closed, is when you are confident, you are certain that you have the solution and you need to talk confidently. You need to talk with assumptive behavior. You need to use word tracks that are assuming because you are the answer, you have the answer, and you need to be confident when you close. I buy from people when they're like, dude, this is the only solution. This is the best solution on the market and it is definitely going to solve your problem. Let's see if we can get you approved for this. What's your full legal name, right? You need it, you want it, you can afford it. This is the answer. Now, I'm helping you do it because I'm the dude to do it. True? Now let's go. Okay, let's see if we can get you approved, right? That's certainty, that's confidence, that's assumptive behavior. And that is why you will close more deals because insurance agents fail because they don't close enough deals. Typically they don't get in front of people, but when they do, maybe we're not asking questions and listening. Maybe we're not showing empathy. Maybe we aren't super freaking confident that we have these solutions. So this is the three simple steps to close an insurance sale from somebody that made six figures in their first eight months in the business, okay? And that knows that you too can make six figures in this business. 92% of insurance agents fail, only 8% succeed, which is why Dylan's at 8% nation cap right now, you can't even see it, because we don't close enough deals. You can close enough deals. You can make whatever amount of money you wanna make.